Welcome to this Steagle.com Hangout on Air. To demonstrate the new Google Sites feature, you can now embed a Google Plus post in your Google Sites page. So let's see the instructions to see how that works. Uh, first of all, you need to get and copy the link of the Google Plus post. Then you can edit your Google Sites page. And once in the editor, you can use the Insert menu, then the Google Plus option, and then choose Post. You paste the link that you copied earlier from the Google Plus post into the gadget. You use your OK button and save your page, and then you'll see your Google Plus post. Let's show you how that works. So here we are, we're at the Seagull.com Google Plus page. And we've just announced this new feature to Google Plus, so we want to embed this in our Google site. So we use the options menu, that's a little drop down menu at the top right corner of the post, and choose link to post. Now be aware you cannot use an event, you cannot embed a Google Plus event in. Google have not released that as a feature yet, so you can't embed a Google event anywhere. So you copy the link from the link to this post box, and then you can switch over to your Google Sites page. Once you're at the page where you want to embed the Google Plus post, you can use the Edit Page button to open the Google Sites editor. Go to the area on the page where you would like to embed your Google Plus post. Use the Insert menu. The Google Plus option, and then choose Post. This brings the Google Plus embed gadget open, and then you simply paste in the link that you copied. You can then alter the width and the height of the gadget. For instance, I'm going to make it 450, and the Google Plus Post embed has a maximum width of 440. So there's not much point in having it anything larger than that. If you want to make sure it fills the screen size of where you're entering it in, though, you can use 100%. You can then choose whether you want to display a border or a title. I'll switch these off. Then use the OK button. Once you use the OK button, you can then see you get the gadget in the editor just as a placeholder. And you can also change some of its options there. For instance, you can center it. And then when you finish changing all the options, you can use the Save button. Google Sites will then save the page and refresh it. And you'll find then you have your Google Plus post. The Google Plus post has all the features. For instance, you can view activity and see who's plus one it. And also see the comments as well. Thank you for watching. I hope this has been helpful. You can find more videos at steel.com.